good morning and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses, or it could be afternoon if they're on replay. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it is Crochet Thursday, and we have a special guest with us today. We have Summer Cromarty, and she is going to introduce herself here in a second, but I can just say, I'm so excited. Did you cast the, catch the last, oh, I'm looking at the wrong place. Did you catch the last time that she was on? Because she's sinking hilarious. Don't tell her. She's just awesome. <laughs> so anyway, I'm so glad you're joining us and thank you for hopping on live. I have a weird shadow. It looks like I have a mustache. Today. Oh, glasses. It's the best. Oh, it's lovely. I don't want to go glasses. Do I have though. stuff on me? No. Okay. I noticed it as soon as we went live. I'm like, I look like, hello. Which I, that's a thing pepper. we can do <laughs> next time. I'm not anyway, prepared. I don't so, know. Oh my gosh. So welcome Summer. Hello. Thank you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> hey, so she's right. I'm Summer Cromarty. Um, and we met at an event at Michael's in November, mm -hmm. um, and it was a totally separate thing, but I mentioned that um, I stumbled upon plan pooling um, with a crochet project that I had made, yeah. and, um, and I so I'm stammering. Um, I did not invent plan pooling. I've never said that. That's ridiculous, because there's... There's a lot of evidence yeah. that means that would mean I'm a liar and I don't. She just made it cool again. I do that. I'm just saying. Did. Yeah. She made it cool again. I mean, she kind of just, you know, was like, boom, <laughs> drop the mic. Indeed. So we're, so we're done. That's Happy it. days good. are here again. Now the plant pulling is here again. <laughs> you can give us songs I know. I don't, again, the musical thing, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> we'll get there. I am an old soul. No, you are. No, I, no, my sister got all those. I know. You need to stop. Part one. Stop with the excuses or introduce me. To my sister. <laughs> Just replace myself. Um, I didn't say that. I'll teach you how to crochet. It's fine. She's great. <laughs> um, so yeah, I kind of dusted off the old trend. I stumbled upon it. I posted it into a, um, a Facebook group and everyone was like, what? And so they're like, how'd you do it? And I'm like, uh, let me go back and see yeah. and so it could be duplicated and so there's a Facebook group that we started because people were tired of going back to the same thread yeah um, and so it's called plan pooling with crochet and it's on Facebook and there's tons of people and we'd love to have you um, and that is it's got a ton of information in there oh and the people are amazing they're super helpful like really helpful and I love it because I love when groups work and then like the admins aren't there to they're not there to answer all questions they're not there to just like police it they're there to just help administrate and then make sure the group functions well but then the members like all contribute the members help each other they genuinely care for one another if they don't care for the project they move on they don't even look at it they don't even say anything you know, but then they're like, oh, you have an issue with this thing? Oh, you know what helped me? Because I had that issue too, and this was my fix. Yes. Yeah. The, so good. The group is amazing, and people have said that it's the most encouraging group that they've been a part of. Except for mine. And we... Maybe. Oh, no, that's fine, because they haven't joined this group yet. They need to know. <laughs> um, and so people are just really cool and encouraging. No, again, that they've been a part of. They don't know you. They need to know you. Um... And so I'm a fan. I'm just saying. No, absolutely. This is not. Yes. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> ah. Um, so the group was great because I will be the first to admit that I'm not. It was an accident that I stumbled upon it and I've only been able to duplicate it by asking um, Brenda Lee is the other admin in the group. Brenda Lee Bennett. Yeah. Is she's a incredible. lifesaver. She's a genius. She tinkers. She plays. She it's ridiculous how her mind works. And so she, I, I bombard her with like a hundred questions before I start a new pooling project. Like, it's that bad. Yeah. Once I get started, I'm like, all right, I got it. Um, yeah. but I'm like, okay, what about this? What about, she's a sweetheart to put up with me. She's awesome. Yeah. So the group is great and, and people post, they're like, Hey, here's my picture. Is it working? Or Hey, this yarn is killing me. Does anybody else know what? Is this how many colors are in this yarn? Yeah. Because sometimes you get different shades of um, of a color and you're like, does this brown count as this brown? It's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. So the group is amazing um, and there's pictures and resources and files. It is it is worth awesome. a lot. Awesome. Yes. It is, it is really awesome. I'm just saying. No, you are. Just I, saying. Well, I did awesome. say it. You did. Just. <laughs> See, she's not fussy because she's moving. 
I'm less punchy. It's just Thursday. I'm still goofy. It's true. I, that remains. They know that. So, no, that's yes. default. I'm going to I'm gonna say hello to everybody yes. who's joining us. Hey, everybody. I'm going to zoom along and say hey in order. I'm going to do the whole, it's romper room. Here's the magic mirror. Because they've told me that it's like being on romper room. And I had to go like... Google romper room. Do you know what it is? I know a little bit. I had a substitute refer to it when I was in middle school and we were like, so do you know it, what no. this magic mirror thing is? I don't. If it's like Pee Wee's Playhouse, but that, no. <laughs> See? You're welcome. <laughs> Perfect sense. Me what, what is it? What does he say? Make it like a high, make a honey ho. Oh, make it like a high, make a chunny ho. Make it like a honey, 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 honey ho or something like that. Yes. Yes. It's been 30 years. Yes. I still look. I have I had this weird thing. I should have like. Do you want to fix anyway, it? Anyway, I feel like I have. Hello. You know my I name is Kristen. Now it's just more entertaining this way. Anyway, I'm going to say hi. Hey, good so morning, hi. Chris. You caught the last time. You got what? Oh, you caught the her, us last time. Yes. And you're the first to comment. <laughs> you jumped on pretty quick, girl. Hey, good morning, Mark. And, and Kristen Frank. I remember him from last time, too. <laughs> like, Hi. I like when Mark joins us. Hi, Heather and Crystal and Sin. That's, that's cinnamon. Yes. That's cinnamon. But Sin is short. So It's fun. not Sin Sin. It's like cinnamon. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, Joanne. Oh, it jumped. I did something weird. And it jumped. Hey, girl, Joanne. And Lori and Sandy and Ellie. Hello. And Karen Sweet and Mickey. Hey y'all, and Martha, hello, hey, hey. When you jumped on, I was like, hi. It was like, I felt like I was like the kid on the stage at the kindergarten program and mom yes. walks in and you're like, and mom's like, stop. And you're like. Right. My friend has a signal. <laughs> oh really? She's in choirs like as a grown up and I think she like <laughs> touches her nose or like pulls her ear or something. Yeah. That's normal. I don't know. It works though. I do it. It's funny. <laughs> oh, hey Steven. He says, OMG, I watch Romper Room all the time as a kid. <laughs> Your people are the coolest. I do have cool people. You do? Mm -hmm. You guys more often. They're just people. Y'all are early though. Sorry. People are people, so why should it be? That's totally... No, I know it. I just don't know all the words. <sighs> See, but then you're going to get me to go, like, say the wrong words. Like, people are so different than the roughly. Like, is that a thing? <laughs> I don't think it is a thing. I don't think it is. But I don't remember the words either, so it's sort of like, you know, the, the other the other thing about making up lyrics is the fact that you don't ever have to be right. Oh, that's true. Like, they you don't... can be totally wrong and people think it's hilarious. You're like, duh, it's yarn. yarn. I knew yarn wasn't the lyric. Because I'm hilarious. So true. Unintentionally. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the best kind. That is the best kind. The, you know what? There's a really fun show that you should check out that's on Facebook. Okay. And... Um, I don't know. I think they're also on YouTube, but there are these two ladies, and I'm trying to remember one of the other girls' name, but one girl's name is Kristen. Hey. I think it's Kristen. Okay. And it's called I'm Mom So Hard. Yes. The funniest ever. Like, they're hilarious. I'm trying to remember. It's there are a lot friends. of really awesome mom videos, and I... There are. Yeah, and they're two friends, and they sit here, and they talk about all the mom hard things, and like, just are completely realistic. They showed their Spanx one day. Like they, like they were all like outfitted with head to toe. I mean, they were like completely covered, and no. they were like they were just out real. So anyway, do we want to? That do was that? Like, no, we're not. Okay, yeah, that's not happening. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> no, I, where are we at? DTR. I don't know. I we're just thought there. I thought that was really fun. It's a third date thing. That is. <laughs> I don't know what kind of date she used to go on, <laughs> but <laughs> homie, don't play that. <laughs> Homie, do you remember Homie the Clown? You know that? I'm sorry. I'm referencing all these things. They're not yarn related. I'm sorry. I'm going into this other Kristen land. It's great though. Other Kristen land is crazy. I feel bad I don't live there all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Your nephew was on Romper Room as a preschooler. He's 40 now. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm 40 something now. 41. I'm proud. I love how I'm 40 proud. something you're like, 40 not to be confused 41. with. No, just 41. Like, I'm 40 something. I'm 40 early. It is some 40 something. 40 something is said by a pony. Oh, Chris, thank you for the update. Okay, today is Groundhog Day. Happy Groundhog it's true. Day. Happy. And I, I don't know if that's a thing, but yes. it's Groundhog Day. And Chris says the groundhog saw his shadow six more weeks of winter crochet and knitting. Yay! 
that is cool. Excellent. I, that. I was wondering if that would happen today because today is a cooler day. And, yes. you know, I'm sure if he walked outside yesterday, he would have been like, cool, what's up? This is awesome. That's true. Because yesterday was really warm here. Yes. And then last night. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. More crochet. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I mean, I really don't stop. By the way, she has yarn in her bathroom. She actually is crafty enough to have a yarn, like, (gasps) pin, uh, uh, nail art. Yeah. Like a rubber ducky thing. I totally selfied your bathroom. Yay! (laughs) No, I, okay, the terrified look that I just got, I swear to you, is that I used to, oh, this is so embarrassing. We're there. Um... (laughs) That um, I used to, st- oh my gosh, I used to stash, um, I bought Karen cakes when they were on sale, like a lot of them, because you can't buy just one, what are you doing? They're inexpensive when they're on sale. So yeah. I had them in these giant Michael's bags in my master bathtub. Oh. Like three giant bags in my master bath. Well, if you don't use it. And it, no. Oh, might as well be yarn in, in yarn. Um, ah. um, and so then I was like, oh, did I leave yarn in there? Because I have yarn everywhere. Yeah. It's a disease. So I was like really nervous that I was like. You were nervous that. No. Oh, no, it was on no, purpose. No, there was bath toys in there. It we was the re- kiddo bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ducky. but she does have yarn art in her bathroom, which is like, it's shaped like a rubber ducky. She's got like a wooden block, like a, it was a, a yellow yeah. block with blue yarn around these nails. And she is so cute. Hey. It's so simple. It's so cute. Yeah. I'm assuming you did it. And you didn't I did. Buy it, I did. You know? No, I, it, um, you want to know how I did it? Sure. All right. Um, I went online because internet and printed out um, like a color sheet of a rubber ducky outline because I'm not going to freehand it. Because um, internet. Um, yeah. Um, and so then I um, taped it to the block and then did the nails in where I wanted them to go. Mm. And then I took the paper off and then um, nice. I think I'd already painted the thing yellow and then did the mm. strings. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah. And um, if you want to level that up for crochet, you could just make a giant crochet chain. Dude! And then do it. Boom. I know. I don't know if I can handle any more today. That's oh. good. Anyway. But now we get to see her project. Y'all want to see her project? And I need to scroll because oh. everybody's saying stuff. They are. Hi. Hi. Yeah, six more weeks. You want six more months of hibernation to finish projects? <gasps> right. Well, my girls are little for some reason. I gave them a look and they would straighten up. So I say I don't need anything. It's called the mother look. Oh. <laughs> That was unrelated to something. It was related to something we said earlier, I am sure. But anyway, let's look at her project. I want to hear more about it, and I'm going to try and shut up. It's all good. You're a darling. Um, Okay, so I will admit that um, I did it all by accident. So duplicating it is really tricky. So if I say something wrong, um, then that is just guaranteed. Okay. Um, That I just predicted it would happen. Okay, so I made this swatch the other day because I made a scarf for a friend out of the Peyton's Classic Wool, um, the label looked like this. It's gonna be reversed, but yeah. Oh, no siento. Um, the label, just wheels off. Um, the label looks like this. It's the Peyton's Classic Wool, yeah. um, but it was um, the color forest. Anyway, oh, so, yeah. but I gave it to him, and I don't wanna, no takes these backsies. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he's got it. But I wanted to make another swatch um, for the group. It's now the cover photo, um, so you'll get to see it again. Um, so it's, it's gonna be big. Ta-da! Oh, got some tails. Hold on. Isn't that nice? I didn't even this finish her it sample. Off. Yeah, so she had already given the other one away. But yeah, this looks really nice. Thanks. And it works up like it's got a good hand to it. It's got a good drape even. Yeah, it does. It has that crunch of the wool. I love that. But Wool's it's not nice. like but it's it's not like the crunchy scratchy. Like mm-hmm. it's not Yeah. I mean, it feels good. Yeah, it does. And this, um, my friend wanted wool, and then I knew that I had this, and I knew that this um, worked up really well. Because mm-hmm. um, some yarn, depending on the color lengths, um, go kicking and screaming, and mm-hmm. some yarn goes well. So, um, yeah, this is... I love that. This is two sequences wide. Um, I'll tell you what that means in a second. Um, so you can see that it goes from dark turquoise to dark turquoise. Yeah. So that's one sequence, two sequences. You can okay. even see like the big X. Like there's, you can see that it's nice. Does it? Does two. the repeat stop just short of the the turquoise? Is that where like the repeat is? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you um. So here's kind of the steps. Um. And again, this is all just stolen information because I stop uh, it. Borrowed. Just say what you did. Sorry. Okay. So I don't want people. Okay. So they're getting credit. They know. You love them. They. I do. Brenda Lee Bennett. 
She is my heart. Yes, my heart. Brenda Lee. Hi. <laughs> Genius. So you look at your yarn and you make sure that the sequence and everything repeats consistently because some yarn go like this is, um, I won't show you all of it, but it's like turquoise, summer, get it together. Um, turquoise, then like this bright blue, uh -huh. then this gray blue, lightest gray, gray blue. So it kind of goes back and then goes to turquoise. The okay. dark turquoise is only once. Okay. Everything else happens twice. And so you have to really make sure because there are some yarns that don't repeat for like yards and yards and yards. Mm. They look like they do, but the color lengths are inconsistent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so you kind of make sure you have an eye on your sequence. Mm -hmm. You're like, all right, cool. This is what one repeat looks like. Mm -hmm. So then you make, so this is in the moss stitch, okay. which is um, single, um, chain one and skip a space, mm -hmm. single. And then when you come back, you single in that chain one space mm -hmm. and then you chain space. There's lots okay. of tutorials. Maybe yeah, it's like to it. offset. Yeah, it's really great. Yeah. And it works for this. Um, so that's what I'm going to talk about. Okay. But there's other stuff you could do. Anyway, so you make a swatch and you look and see how many stitches you can get. You just pick a hook. Maybe you start with the hook that the yarn says to start with. Mm -hmm. And you crochet through the yarn a bunch of times. And you go, oh, yeah. this turquoise always gets me three. I get three. I mean, you call it stitches with the chain in between. I get three with the turquoise and then with the um the gray blue both times I get three but maybe one time you get two so you have to count that as a separate color you have to really kind of pay attention and so you do it enough times but there are some times where you'll get half stitches and you have to be mindful of that because mm -hmm. it kind of ends up making things look really muddy mm -hmm. so maybe you go up a hook size mm -hmm. or down a hook size and try different different hook sizes to see what gets you the least number of half stitches. Mm -hmm. And if in your work you get a half stitch, you can fudge mm -hmm. by using up more yarn or, or less yarn, and that's a whole other thing. So yeah, like change, yeah, you change your hook, or you may like kind of frog back just a little bit, like undo the stitches a couple, and mm -hmm. then use the bigger one or the smaller hook to kind Absolutely. of gain some speed in that. Yeah. Speed, whatever, length. Tension, yeah, some length. Or, mm -hmm. um, or if you don't want to put the hook down, you can just crochet a lot looser or a yeah, lot tighter. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another tip, um, is that you can do a half double instead of a single. Oh. And so, but we all know that that stitch is a little taller than a single. Yeah. So when you come back to it, instead of just crocheting in the chain, you mm -hmm. kind of sneak down and grab a loop from the bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's genius. So it kind of pushes cheap. it down a little yeah. bit and nobody knows. Everybody thinks this looks really great, but, yeah, but I you, see mistakes because So do you have half mine. doubles in there? Oh gosh. Heavens, yes. <laughs> and not to mention, so this white yarn in between, uh -huh. it's a really odd, this big white um, X that runs between that's stinking gorgeous. It, um, it is actually only two stitches, which why it's, which is why it looks skinnier yeah. than all the other bands. But I kept getting a half stitch, so I either have to say, okay, do I crochet tighter and always get three, or do I know I can crochet looser yeah. or do a half double? Well, and visually it looks it right too. Thank I mean, you. and yeah. it looks and it well even if it is like slightly, excuse me, <clears throat> slightly less wide. It looks like it kind of steps back, you know, and and that's kind of the great cool about great cool thing about plaid, you know, because it kind of gives that effect, you know. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Do it. Okay, so when I I have not done the plan pooling, let me just say I, I actually I started to, and she informed me I was using the wrong yarn, and so I was going to drive myself crazy. I pick I always pick the wrong yarn first when I do like a brand new project. I do. That's funny. Like my first project ever that I worked, I worked with black yarn. Oh, sorry. And the wrong weight. And then um, when I did my first crochet um, um, flower, I did Karen's uh, uh, Simply Soft. or okay. super, super, Simply Soft. Yes. But it's got like a really big sheen to it. It's yes. And it splits. And so it looks beautiful in a flower for a clip for hair, but it was difficult to work with for a first project. Anyway, yeah. so my back to my question. Yeah. I had watched Marley's video, Marley Bird, yeah. and she had gotten lots of help from your group and some other, and like a blog, and she had, she she knows about plan pooling for knitting, sure. but she hadn't done crochet before, and she talks about that. Um, but in her video, she talked about how you go, you chain through the sequence, like you're talking about, 
And then she said, okay, do you see how there's like four colors in hers that she was showing? There's, there's probably four in there. But she was like, okay, so in this one, I'm going to take the two darker colors and call them gray. And I'm going to take the two lighter colors. I, actually, I think it was, it was when I watched her. Um, she's a really cool um, uh, plan pulling um, poncho. That yes. black poncho. Gorgeous. Yeah. And it uses like a black and white, um, is it zebra yarn? Yes. Um, from... It looks like there's only like two or three colors, but there are different tones <sighs> right. of gray. Yes. And so she did the black and the dark gray together. And then she did the light gray and the white together. And she called it color A and color B, you know, so it's essentially like a two color job. Mm -hmm. Did you do that? And which colors did you call the color one, two or three or whatever? Great question. In this project, I did not. Oh. In the forest... I did. Oh. If you look back at the forest picture, there are, there's like a, there's a milk chocolate. It's like a dark milk chocolate. Okay. And then there's like a super dark, dark brown. Well, they're really hard to tell the difference between and I got better things to do. So I just counted them all okay. and said seven stitches of you guys. Okay. Because there were greens on either side and it, I didn't, it didn't bother me if it was different because you can't tell. Yeah. I can't tell, so I don't mind. Yeah. Um, so on this one, so it's tricky because all the colors repeat except for that white in the middle yeah. and the turquoise. So you could call this like gunmetal cobalt blue. Mm -hmm. You might count them as two separate colors because there's one before the white and one after it. Because mm -hmm. um, it goes... But did you, you didn't call all those together? Like the, I didn't lump any together, like what you're talking about. Okay. So you did it as four separate things. I did. So it's okay. one, two, three, four, five, six colors. Um, but thankfully they're all three Damn, stitches Jesus. wide. Oh my except gosh. For the, <laughs> but I knew that everything was three wide except for this, um, white that well, I was going to force to be two, no matter what it is. It's wanted. gorgeous. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think it's so cool. One string, one piece of yarn. Serious. You know, this. it's so incredible what you can do with it. It's just, it's <laughs> wild. Cause it's just, it's just stacking. Cause you could make it to where like self-striping yarn you can stack it perfectly. Mm -hmm. It's just in this situation, you could stack it perfectly mm -hmm. and get stripes all mm -hmm. the way down. But if you offset it by one, mm -hmm. you have this, this yeah. nutty plaid pattern. Yeah, because if you were trying to get plaid and you were like, okay, I'm going to do intarsia or I'm going to do, oh, you know, whatever, oh. whatever. St yeah, what you would have all these tails, you would have craziness and you might as well figure out how to do this cool sequencing, you know, and... Yeah. I mean, there is effort involved. It's not like, there you is. know, there anyway, is. it's so cool. So Can what I, do you guys think about sorry. it? I wanted to add one more thing. If yeah. That's cool. Uh -huh. Um, so <clears throat> you do your swatch to get how many stitches per color. Mm -hmm. And then once you get your hook and your swatch all figured out with your personal tension, that way you don't have to keep changing as much mm -hmm. because you really will have to keep an eye on it. If you don't keep an eye on it, I love you. It's going to go weird okay. and it's going to be really unfortunate. Yeah. So you have to kind of, I frog every five stitches sometimes it's oh, nuts i know it's but at least it's only one stitch at a time i mean it's not like a whole row yeah you look at it and you're like oh no it's stacking I can't yeah. stack. i have to offset by one so then when you get to your project you know how many i like to make a chain mm -hmm. longer than i need um yeah because i hate counting and i hate being wrong um and so i just make it longer than i need and i'll pull it out later mm -hmm. and so then you just i crocheted twice through the sequence. Mm -hmm. um, every color happened once, and then on row two, you double back and make sure that it's a mirror image of row one. Mm. And then, because if you went turquoise to blue, mm -hmm. turquoise to blue, mm -hmm. on the way back, yeah. it's the same thing, it's just gonna be a mirror image because it's the way back. Yeah. Anyway, and then row three, you look back at your first row and just make sure it's offset by one. If it's not, you'll just get these really fun vertical stripes. Which yeah, is so just cool. staggered over. Yeah, and the group, the group is great, and and Marley is great, and there are a lot of resources out there. Mm -hmm. So um, if you get frustrated, ask. Oh my gosh, ask. Yeah, ask that's asking. pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So um, everybody was wanting to know um, some of the best yarns. Now I I know that I know that Red Heart has a listing, and then there are some in the group. Like just offhand, yeah. without just referencing them, what would be your first thing to go for? My first thing, um, without referencing them. 
No, no, no. I'm just saying that not instead of just saying oh, go check out the link, link or oh, the sure, site. Sure, sure, like, sure. what would yes. you say offhand no, right now? I started with Red Heart Super Saver Earth and Sky. There are a ton of Super Saver variegated colors that work. Mm -hmm. There are a couple that their sequences are weird or their color. <clears throat> excuse me, their colors are too short. Okay, but for the most part. Most Red Heart Super Saver variegated colors work. Um, okay. Wildflower works well. Earth and Sky works well. Um, these Peyton's Wool um, yeah. are phenomenal. Yeah. So have you seen other <clears throat> people like get, get good sequencing from all the colors or many colors? Or is there anything in particular that doesn't work? Um, doesn't work heavens. I did a blanket in Bon Bon, Red Heart Super Saver and Bon Bon, and the color lengths are just too short. Mm -hmm. So you have to really plan. Okay. Like, cause with the sequencing, you're like, oh, I get three of this turquoise. Mm -hmm. Well, in Bon Bon, you might get one or oh. you get two. And so you have to really keep an eyeball on that hot pink okay. to make sure that that guy okay. stacks in the same place. Um, Panther pink is gorgeous. Uh -huh. It's pink and it's a couple shades of pink and black. It's Stunning. It looks like a like a leopard print when you work it up, just kind yeah. of randomly. Um, but the color sequences are really short. Um, Reef is more like a striping yarn. Okay. Watercolor is more of a striping yarn. Okay. Striping yarns will pool. You have to um, do something different. You have to do like shells or granny stitch okay. to kind of cluster the yarn together. Okay. And you can do really cool... a bigger pattern sequence of stitches. Exactly. To get that effect. And it's okay. amazing. But as far as like what this kind of easier argyle. Um, and then um, Karen, one pound, or mm -hmm. pound, um, they have some variegated yarns. Uh, Jumbo. Oh, in the one pound? Okay. Jumbo, I okay. think is what they call it. Um, okay. Rosewood, oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh, my dear. Oh? Um, Rosewood is stunning. Um, Country Basket is gorgeous. It's like these blues. Uh huh. This yellow. is a color name. This is a color name. Yeah. Okay. This is, so this Karen Jumbo pound or something okay um and there's a bunch of different colors like spiced ombre is really pretty um there oh my goodness there's so many colors and yeah there's a list in the group of course but yeah there are and so it lists out different like the brand and the style and the color that works yeah and we even yeah. have um photo albums of what that looks like worked up okay oh we need to tell the name of the group and we'll put a Sorry. link in the um the comments later yes. unless someone has it yeah it's on facebook and it's planned pooling with crochet Awesome. Yes. And Summer and uh, Brenda are both, uh, Brenda Lee are both admins in there. And do you have another admin too? or just We have a of couple of moderators that do okay. other, t other tasks. Okay. About where the... But they approve the people and, I mean, basically if you want in, they're going to let you in unless you were like just a jerk in the group and then you have to go. So we'll just say jerk. That's a good universal thing. Like, you just have a jerk face, but you don't have jerk face friends, so. I don't. Or they're not friends anymore. Like, don't be a jerk. Or don't no. be a jerk to my friends. That's true, too. Yeah. No. If you're a jerk to my friends and not to me, then that's not nice. No. Well, yeah. No, that's crazy. Yeah. No, rule number one in the group is actually just be cool. Just be cool. That's a good, like... And yeah. I think there's a smiley face emoji, like, to remind people. Man, I want to steal that. Do it. Or That'd borrow be it. cool. Would be cool. Just be borrow. cool. Yeah, borrow. Right, with permission, and then... Can I get... But I can't... How, can, how do I give it back? If I borrow something... Mm. How do I give it back? I don't want to take it down when you take it. So I'm just going to let you I'm not taking copy it. I'm just it. being silly. Oh. But yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Joe. She, she's she got the group yeah, uh, the link. Thank you. Cool. Oh, man. So yeah, I'm going to scroll through and see if we have any other questions. Um, I have something while I'm looking. Mm -hmm. I have something to give her that she didn't even see. If she saw it, she didn't say anything. But wait, I gotta wait until you're not. She's gonna sip on something. So hold on. La la la. Let me see if there's a question. Ask me. Ask her any questions, and we'll see. Um, does she have a Facebook page? She does have a Aww. Facebook page. It's for her. Um, for her actual projects and stuff. And I believe you sell what you make too. Sometimes. I do. So the page is really to tell customers what I can do and kind mm -hmm. of pictures of what I've done. But, you know, we can hang out there. Yeah. Um, it's called Simple Crochets. And the picture is just a little yarn ball um, with, like, red okay. in it. So Simple Crochets. So that's your business page. That's yeah. awesome. So she's local-ish to uh -huh. me. It took me about an hour to get here today. Yeah, so. morning traffic. Yeah. Well, we live in DFW, and so you're probably not, like, miles that far, but... That we always we always gauge things in DFW or at least well actually in Texas by how many hours it takes to get there. Well, yeah, <laughs> not miles. <laughs> Isn't that funny? No, that we my do friend that? in 
she used to live in like Michigan, Ohio, whatever, and talking about like they would go to just Pennsylvania. I'm like, how long does it take to get there? Like a couple hours. Like, yeah. Oh my god. I'm just used to Texas, where you don't really cross state lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes a long time to cross the state line. There's a new city like every 20 minutes. Yeah. Not even every 20 minutes. <laughs> I mean, like every five in the mid cities, it's, it's like all crazy. these little bitty towns in there. Yeah, and like, first, Steelers, Bedford, what? Oh, Where'd I go? Yeah, where'd I go? <laughs> I go crazy. I go round, round, round. I just bit my tongue. That hurt. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. The side of it. Oh. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm back to the straighten up odd comment. So, <laughs> I was trying to find. She was talking earlier, and then we read it, and I was like, yes. I didn't know what that was. Anyway, yes. I was just trying to find if um, if they had any other questions I sure. missed. So, hi. I saw some of her from Massachusetts. I didn't Ooh, see fun. who that was. Oh, Sin, yeah, you're in Saginaw. Yeah, she's in one Yay. of those other places. It's like if I go oh, yeah, west from where I yeah. live, she lives westward. Indeed. Yes, and you are eastward. Also true. You're too far from her. But DFW Fiberfest is coming up. They already have the vendor list out, and I am excited! Yay! There's some yarn up here that you can't see, and you shouldn't because it's mine. No, just kidding. You can get some. <laughs> There's a vendor that I bought a bunch of stuff before, and I love her, and she's coming back, and I can't wait. Oh, yeah. I, I like to go see um, A Twist in Time. Fun. I'm sure. They're, they're just some sweet ladies, and um, she showed me how, when I was trying to figure out what wheel I wanted. I was getting some feedback from them, and she was sweet enough to like sit there with me and let me like use her wheel and kind of learn and I bought some fiber for her. Fine. Anyway, I go visit them every time. They're from uh, Missouri. So, that's cool. I've only visited, you know, I paid a little fee to get to shop. Yeah, uh, cuz I don't really take yeah, it's the like five classes bucks. yet. Yeah, I know. Yeah, or like, 10 for the weekend and you can just come serious. a series of 3 days. It's like the weekend of um April the 7th and my husband's yes. birthday is the 7th. They always hold it when he's having his birthday. And, you know, he's like, well, no big deal. And he always Aww. does that. But, you know, I'm like, well, so do you want me to go or not? Or not? You know, because he'll say, just go. Right. And so it's kind of hard. So anyway, if anybody is around DFW Fiber Fest area, Irving, Texas, be sure and let us know. Maybe, you know, we could do a meetup or something. Yeah, that'd be fun. All right. So I have something for you. Do you? You spoil me, Kristen. Oh, my God. Tell him what it is. This is beautiful yarn. This is um, Red Heart Unforgettable Kristen's Boutique Midnight. <laughs> no, there's a there's a piece of me in almost everything I wear. Uh, it's awesome and it's warm. <laughs> I know. I was like cuddling it right there. I was like, um, so I love gradient yarns. Um, I will say that variegated yarn has frustrated me because it usually ends up looking really splotchy. Uh -huh. Well, then when everyone's like, oh, this is called pooling, I'm like, what? And so it changed. It changed. Man. Shakespearean time. It's all changing. It changed my life. <laughs> it changed um, my life. <laughs> I feel so blessed. Um, <laughs> sorry. Almost did a spit, spit take. take. Oh. Anyway. So this yarn is gradient and it's okay. gorgeous. The, it, the colors fade really slowly. It's got some sparkle in it. Um, and it goes from like gray, different grays to pink. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. So she was a darling enough. And I thought it was discontinued. They just don't sell it in stores. Yeah. Which is the same to me because I don't like buying things online. Yeah. Um, I know. I, if, if I know that I know that yarn and that color, I could buy it online. You know, but like when I first. <laughs> I'm listening. Are you? <laughs> I. Did I hear myself? I don't know. You buy things online if you know you can get it. Yes. If I, well, if I, if I felt it and touched it and oh, sure. loved Sight it. Sight unseen? Yeah. Buy yeah. a house or car online. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Who's doing that? I mean, people do. And you people do that. I mean, there are like ice yarns. I think several oh, people buy from so ice yarns pretty. and stuff. And I never bought from them because, um, well, because I want to touch it and feel it. And so the first time I was able to see that stuff, there's, um, paradise fibers or par paradise Anyway, there's this place in Farmington. Farmington yes. Farmington. Yes, and they're huge um, and like two story. And the Fiber Circle? The Fiber Circle. Thank you. I call I'm it totally Yarnia. It. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Oh my God. And, she, and she, yeah, and she has like just like you can get them in like the multiple, like all the dye lots are still in the package. Like she just, she just slid open the box and put them in the shelves. And some of them, it's like got a ton of boxes and stuff. So. Yeah. Yes to that. Anyway. Sing. Oh dear. <laughs> Look, see more. Oh, there's more. Sing. <laughs> we have Tom, or actually that's Robin. 
Because Robin oh, that's has right. to say. I watched your video the other day. Did you? Yeah, that's Robin. Where Everybody's like, going to know me. her. She's like the celebrity. Um, oh, Heather. Heather's having surgery tomorrow. Oh. We'll be praying for you, Heather. Um, I hope you um, recover quickly. Indeed. And um, I hope you have lots of uh, crochet or knitting to do while you can just sit there. Because that's a good excuse. Like, get people to wait right. on you afterwards. I'm recovering. Do you? I, I'm, reco I'm sorry. I'm still recovering in here. Right. <laughs> no, serious. Bring me some tea. <laughs> can you get a bell? Yeah. Can you get a bell? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. You don't know. That's disco, man. And we were babies. <laughs> <laughs> my disco experience is macho duck. We had a cassette. <laughs> macho, macho <laughs> duck. I or whatever. It's like you had it. Did you have it? It was orange. <laughs> <laughs> I had it on vinyl. I had Macho Duck on vinyl. So good. Yeah. Just, yeah. It's like Disney disco and like uh, Mickey Mouse. Pew, pew. Mickey Mouse is. Yes. yes. Pew, pew, pew. Oh my gosh. I need to show you this thing because I, I, still, have, me on. No. I still have the yeah. vinyl. Shut up. I'm not kidding. And it has, oh. it's like a blue thing and it shows Dickie. It... <laughs> Mickey. Mickey is not Dickie. Nope. Yep. <laughs> part of his shirt. Mickey. He might have worn. And he's he's like, it's the background is blue, like he's on st uh, Saturday Night Fever. Yes. And he's like, whoop, you know, Yay. doing his little little thing. Yes. No, we just had the orange cassette. <laughs> we, I don't know where that cover went. <laughs> the only children. orange cassette I had, actually it was yellow, was um, this other thing. And it had like the song, Germs, My Invisible Dog. Germs, germs, my invisible dog. I hide him in my pocket because he's very, very small. Germs, germs, my invisible dog. You ever heard of that? No, but I'm... Because it's a germ. I'm here. And it's little. Right. And you can hide it in your pocket. They're just dirty kids being dirty. So now... <laughs> it's the dirty. What? But, so, I sang. There it's you true. go. She did. I sang a little macho duck, but not much. Macho. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm feeling. I'm not feeling the song. You well, like, do we take? I don't know. Like, I do we take requests? Oh, shoot, why did I say that? Call in at number. <laughs> K Y R N. We have Katie on the line. Katie, what's your question? <laughs> We're taking requests. You know what I do? What do you? Do? Did I sell? I don't know if I told you this. So if I get a call come in and it's a solicitor. You know, I, I answer the phone, and I'm like, why 95, your color 180? You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they're like, they hang out. What? I'm <laughs> like, you know, you just won, you know? Well, tell us how you feel. You know, or like, make it. I'm like, you know, KVIL, 103.7. You know, like, use my radio voice. That's the best. I freaked her out the other day, because I like, my house talks. I'm so like, glad we're going here. The alarm. Yeah. I was going to ask. Yeah, and we got it all hooked up and everything. And so, yeah, like the garage door opens and it was like, garage, open, back door, open, back door, close. I was like freaking her out because I would say, I would talk. And I think it actually started because you were like, what's that? And we were on the phone. Yeah. We had like the really, this really long conversation and I needed to rest because I was like so tired from the thing, but I just needed to like rest my body. But we were talking, obviously. And, um, but yeah, so I started imitating it. She's like, you're freaking me out. It sounds legit. Like I'm talking to a machine, but I love it. Yeah. Now I'm going to have you record stuff on my cell phone. Like phone call. I like to imitate Siri. She, you're great at it. <laughs> Siri. Um, let's see. What, what would I say? Um, like Siri, find me a crochet project. Do you crochet? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what Siri would say. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yes, Kristen. Uh, that's a cool about the phone solicitors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or you could just start talking about your pattern. Like, pick it up and be like, oh, Betty, I forgot to tell you. You're going to have to chain 195. And when you get into the moss stitch, now you're going to go really crazy. And you're going to rev it up and do three trebles. Three triple crochets, and you're just gonna go until, and you, and then you just stop when you hit 30 inches. Yeah, and then it's crazy, but then you're gonna go, and and then you're gonna do like, wait for it. I'm sorry, but you gotta do like 40 inches of like single crochet. Mm. See how long they stay on the line. <laughs> I heard that they can't hang up. 
they hang up on me when I start oh, acting I? like that. Awesome, man. Yeah. I believe lies. Yeah. Or like if I hear them breathing on the phone, <laughs> I start going. Because they can't say anything until you're like, hello, you know. Oh, right. That they're and waiting like, for the. You know, like make noises. No, I don't do the hurt thing. <laughs> like I'll oh make noises gosh. at them. Yeah, it's hilarious. I got a call just before you came. I thought it was you. And so I pick it up. And it's a number that's local. And so I was like, that's weird. And um, I said, hello. Um, hello. And he said, hey, this is Bob last name. Is it like, me you're looking for? Oh, that's so good. I don't know the words, though. Because I don't know where you are. I don't remember the words. And I don't know what to do if I had stopped crocheting with you. I love you. Is that the same song? Yeah. Okay. Who's that? Can you write it? Lionel Richie. Oh, Lionel Richie. Hello. Duh. Summer. Where have you been? No. I remember those on DTV Dark on Valentine. This all just brings me back to 80s. Disney. What is that? Oh. DT DTV Dog on Valentine. They did all these like um, hits and stuff. Oh, like local. But See, I don't even like know. The, yeah, I don't know about that. Thing. No, it's okay. Yeah. Sorry, man. I gotta work on my database. I know a lot of '90s rock. I know oh. all the words to "Semi Charmed Life." Oh, let's, let's. Oh, that's not. There's not time for that. There's not. Ain't nobody got time for that. No, they don't. No, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Did you ever see that thing with that yeah. lady who, yeah. I heard it on the radio. Yeah, like the uh, fire. I was yes. saying, oh, Jesus, it's fire. I was saying, oh, Jesus, it's fire. Every, anybody got time for that? Everybody got time for that? Super dope. They Every don't. time someone says, ain't nobody got time for that, I'm like, I'll bust out in that, what is it? What do they call that? Auto-tune when they yes. like, took, took the lady, like, you know, there was a fire in her apartment building. And so, like, everything she said was funny. So, they, like, auto-tuned it and yeah. made it into a song. And it's, like, an awesome song. Yeah. They've done that with a couple different things. And it's really funny. Yeah. Like, the intro to Kimmy Schmidt. They did oh. That. I, don't, I don't know that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Um, you watched that? I did when the, the first season came out. I yeah. I the second season because I heard... It wasn't as good, and I'm just going to leave her perfect. Yeah, yeah, she's, that's hilarious. Yes. Yeah, I started watching that because I had a, um, I had a crochet project that I was working on, and um, I just, I needed something on, and I'm watching this thing, and my husband's like, what are you watching? Because we had, like, our computers in the same room at the time, at the old house, and so, like, he's working on, um, he had a headset on, he, he wasn't working on anything, he was playing, like, like, Warcraft, World of Warcraft, wow. Like, yes, my husband was playing. And so he's like listening to that and he's got his headset. He's like, what are you listening to? Like, anyway, and I'm like, I'm just, I just got something on so I can work on my project, you yeah. know? Like, so I'm not just sitting in front of the TV on my easy chair, you know, yeah. with nothing. Yes. I had to have, I have to have sound. Do you have to have sound when you crochet? I listen to audiobooks. Audiobooks. What's your favorite audiobook while you crochet? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it out there. I love Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. Mere Christianity. I just went straight up hardcore nerd. Um, yeah. No, it's Is just... Is that a nerdy book? It's, um, it's a pretty serious Jesus book, um, but it, um, I've listened to it enough times and but read it enough times. Christianity. It's just Mere Christianity. Like, like the word, like, has me laughing. Right. Like simple crochets. Cause this yeah, is yeah, because that's simple. simple. Um, yeah, that's funny. That's uh, funny. Okay. Yeah. So I enjoy it because his voice, I mean, he's a Brit. And so oh, it's like yeah. he's just singing me to sleep or whatever. Oh, um, I, it's lovely. I have um, an audio one on um, this book called um, Arise. And um, it's really good. And she's a Brit who wrote it. And um, I've taken, like, actually she was my director in some musicals. And she um, actually used to perform on um, London's Broadway <laughs> You know, like the version of Broadway, but in London yeah. and, you know, in England. And, um, anyway, so I, you know, I can't believe she cast me, but anyway, but so she came out with this book and it was like, it's like filled with all these things about her life. And then, um, like anyway, some crazy things that happened to her along the way. And it's just kind of woven in and out and rise into like your, what's the rest of the title? It's like, it's called a rise, but then like the subtitle is like something like, and basically into owning your own yourself and your story and all that kind of stuff, but like into your new being. I don't know what the next that's cool. Is. But anyway, it's called Arise. But Michelle Francesca Cohen. So oh, that's a great name. Yeah, Michelle Cohen. But I've always known her as Michelle Cohen. But when she publishes, she writes Michelle Francesca Cohen. Well, sure. Yeah, and it's Michelle with a one L. But anyway, yeah. But she does an audio book in her voice because she rocks and because well, yeah. she's good she's like that. Yeah, and so like listening to it, I'm just like. 
<laughs> Read me the dictionary. Read me the dictionary. <laughs> Tell me how it's necessary. <laughs> right, necessary. Aluminium. Alumi aluminium. Right, because that oh comes my gosh. up a lot. Yeah, audiobooks and Netflix. That's what everybody... That's what everybody says. And don't yeah. pay for audiobooks. This is just PSA. Um, they have... I feel strongly about this. The library. Your local library is amazing. Oh. That um, Hoopla and Overdrive. But I was totally going to give you a link that like paid me Sorry. for audibles. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Buy Kristen's things. I don't... I don't have that. They've, they've sent me a thing to do that. Good. You know, like to do audibles and stuff. And I'm like... Yeah. I don't know. I You know, I, I get like kind of like... I don't know. I think... I would feel like anytime I was telling somebody about a book, it's because I was trying to get money out of them or something. Like, like yeah. go listen to this book, but click on my link. Right. Go through me. I get $10. Yeah. No, I mean, I do have some affiliate links on my websites and stuff, yeah. but like, I wouldn't want to like constantly because, because if I was talking about a book, I'd feel like I was always marketing like right. to sell something. Right. No. Which I sort of do with other things with yarn and but stuff. But it's more but obvious I'm instead fun. of like, I'm having this beverage right now. It's very <laughs> Like, and I've told them before, if they've ever seen these before, I have a Yeti and I, I don't brand, I don't care about the brand. I, you know, you know why I love my, so much. My mom bought me two. I didn't ask for it. It was before I ever knew about what two? Yeti was or any, yeah, because she bought it for my husband and I. So basically he doesn't use them. So they're both mine. So I do. Yeah. I have two. Dude. So. Go mom. Yeah. Cause I'm cheap like that. Yeah. Like, right. I don't... No, owning a legit Yeti, that's a, a few pennies. I'm a baller. I know. I'm a yarn baller, but I got this baller. mug at Ross. At Ross? Yeah, nice. it's awesome. Ooh, what does the fox say? I don't know. Chain, 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 What does a yarn say? <laughs> Happy Groundhog Day. Yay. I love Audible, Heather says. Auto books. Uh, yeah, so also you can check out for free from your local library Audible books. Yes. Yes. So if you didn't know that, take advantage. You know, by the way, crafty people, little <laughs> FYI. Let me make sure what time we are. Okay, we're good on time. I'm good. Um, it's only time check. My husband's got the um, Synchronize Fine. your watch. <laughs> um, you can check out sewing machines or 3D printers. Or what? Yes. Found it out. Call different libraries. What? Yes. Call the Fort Worth libraries. I've even heard there's some Fort Worth uh, libraries. Fort Worth's And then I have, I can, you can use my, mm -hmm, as long as you turn things in on time. But yeah, yeah, That's there's, nuts. depending upon the one that you go to, they have different things like that. You can check them out. That's super cool. Not even kidding. I just found out that ours does, um, magazines. I forget what, um, it's pretty cool. What the, the thing is called. Um, and then ancestry.com and, um, oh, like you can, what? Right. But you can use ancestry like, like their, their whole login and everything. Cause I thought you have to. You, like, have your own, I guess they just pay for the fee. Like, you just go through their computer or, like, their thing. I think you can do it at home, though. Shut up. I know. Libraries are amazing. Because I had done I had done that before where I paid for the service for, like, well, genealogy.com, but I think I also did the Ancestry at that time, too. And then we did, like, this big, massive chart thing. And I thought about going back to it and seeing if I could, you know, see if there's any more that's been added to the thing. But Yeah. So... Somebody it's, sent a message to my husband the other day saying, hey, is your grandmother so-and-so? And, -so? and yeah. he's like, don't ask me for money. Yeah. Um, I think he's legit, but like, how do you ask? Like, hey, I think we're cousins. I don't know. Like, it's no, really not. easy to track my husband's family for Mangus. Um, <laughs> not super common. It's, yeah, not super common. Um, but my maiden name is Williams. <gasps> Good luck with all of that. That's when you go, damn, Gina. You know, like, there's no, uh, that, that's right. hard. All right, Smitty, that's just you. Yeah, and then when you research and you know you're from Arkansas, you know you're going to find some interesting stuff. And you just stop, and you're like, cool. Mm -hmm. That was a good day. Ding. Yeah, my grandfather actually said, you you uh, just, you know, you might not look like what you find. And he would say that several times. I'm like, well, then I really want to know. Oh. You know, because that intrigues me. Sure. I love history stuff, and I love, like, finding things and, um, yeah, and then I was like, oh, oh, 
really oh wow that's really interesting there was a lot of interesting yeah. things there was a lot of things explained in my family interesting thing I must there was a bastard kid because and it was a big deal like nowadays it's not a thing but like sure. but you know they, but there was a time when there was a huge big bad connotation about stuff like that sure. and because things happen anyway so what happened is um this person in the family um was with another person and then their family didn't want them to be together but they had a kid well this kid was not legitimate and so the mom could not name the son because it was a boy so the name kind of started carrying on um uh couldn't name him the last name young blood so technically there's some young blood in my family but they called him she she named him Y blood as an and then wife? made up a story oh, dear. that he was a Native American. So you can go to college for free, but then they look at it and they're like, oh, just kidding. Well, nobody could find it. So when I started doing genealogy, because I had heard that we'd had this Native American in our family and da da da, da oh. And I'm like, well, I'd love to research it and find out, right? Because I'm not about the free college stuff, just because oh, I sure. wanted to find out right. more about like my family. And I'm like, I'm contacting like tribal units and I'm asking them like, has anybody heard of the Y blood clan or like a Y blood, whatever. I don't even know my lingo for, you know, Native Americans, Indians, whatever. Um, you know, depending on who you are and your generation, you say one thing or another. Indeed. But anyway, so I'm asking and they were like legitimately trying to help me. I mean, they're so precious and so sweet and like, and they're like, oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to have to put you in contact with this and this and this person oh. because apparently there's always sub tribes and stuff. And she's like, well, they could have called this other thing because of something else. And then they're like really trying to help me. And then, um, I go find some newspaper article or something. I don't know how I found it, but like. I find out that that's what it was. It was a bastard kid. So what happened is he ends up having twins and one of them was, um, um, and then married, um, a person by the name Haltom. And so Amanda wow. Haltom was my great, great grandmother or something anyway. So, but they were like, yeah, she's wild blood Indian. And so, but when you looked at her picture, she was really tan. Oh yeah. She had like leathery skin, but they worked out in the cotton fields. That's just the time. Worked out in the cotton field. So she's pretty rough, you know? She didn't, you know, have a hat on. She didn't have, or whatever. She didn't right. work under an umbrella, you Sunscreen, know? Sunscreen, sunbonnet. Nope. Yeah. And so, anyway, so this thing got perpetuated. Isn't that hilarious? That's crazy. Well, and, like, you think that you can, like, bury stuff or keep secrets, and then the internet comes along and yeah. just unearths all sorts of unearths things. Unearths all sorts of things. But I love when I was doing stuff, and then I find things like, um... I found projects, um, but yeah, my grandmother ended up giving me like a really pretty like crocheted um, a tablecloth, and um, she's like, well, since you're interested in history, and so she like gets me all this other stuff, so you know, I get I get all these really cool projects and getting to see all the old doilies and like all the things that they would make that spend so much time on. Yeah. You know, I mean, that stuff is work. I mean, props to people who work with thread, right? Does anybody here work with thread on their hook? Good for you guys. Really? I mean, because it's beautiful. Like, have you ever seen, like, the crochet wedding dresses? <sighs> my mom made a, incredible. Um, a big old crochet tablecloth for my grandmother. Did she? Out of thread. Um, it would take hours to go down and back and two weeks for the repeats. And it was this big six-foot table tablecloth. Two weeks for repeats? Yeah. No, it's nuts. And she told my grandmother, she's like, That's, you use this tablecloth. <laughs> That's dedication. I don't want to see this in a box. You but did she want it? Table. Did the grandmother? Like yeah, oh, she okay, did. okay. I was like, no. Story goes that she, like, a couple weeks before my mom gave it to her, she was gonna go shopping. She's like, yeah, I kind of want to go look. I don't remember if she was gonna go look for yarn to make her own or yeah, um, thread to make her own, or um, or like look for tablecloths. And my dad's like, mother, why don't you wait? <laughs> I'm curious how much thread you use for something like that. Like, how many mm. um, balls? How many? Um, Cones or, cones or yeah what do they call them when it's thread do you know anybody know i mean i see it as a ball but it's got like the cone inside and you yeah, can yeah. buy the tall cones i've seen that but like the balls of it right. have like that inside core yeah like it's cardboard know. or something a thing of thread your grandma eva did debbie that's a great name grandma eva gma i'm, I'm sure that's grandma yeah. <laughs> Um, Bobby says uh, she works with thread. Bobby, what do you call a spool of thread? 
a spool, a ball, or educate us. I like to know these things because I don't want to say it wrong either. <laughs> um, and then Joanne, she does too. It's my favorite. I'm just saying props to y'all because that's pretty, um, anyway, that's you got some talent. Spools. Okay, a spool. That makes sense. See, I don't know. Here we go. A penny for a spool of thread, a penny for a needle. That's the way the money goes. Up goes the weasel. <gasps> Is that the rest of the song? I evidently know all the words to all nursery rhymes ever. All around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. Or the cobbler's bench. Sorry. Uh, Do the song. All around the cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought was all in fun. Pop goes the weasel. Okay. Okay, so little extra thing yeah. to add to that. I have a video on YouTube, <clears> so what <throat> happened, and not that you have to go to the video, but like I was in Granbury driving around. We love to just go driving and, no, and go to little towns. And I love it because then I can find like a little lo local yarn shop or spinnery or something. And so we go in and it's like, okay, they're out of business now, which I hate. I hate for them. But they built this yarn shop around an old log cabin. Um. So you go walk inside, it looks like a yarn shop. And they're like, here, come in here. We're going to see the cabin. And you go in there and you get to go in the cabin and actually preserve this log cabin. That's so cool. in there, they had several different spinning wheels and they had like a, a like a, a floor loom or a small floor loom. And then they had like a, a cricket, like a modern cricket. And then like kind of a, old school cricket like wasn't cricket but it was made like an old loom anyway then they had this thing in the corner and it's like a big round wheel with like um four um dowels sticking out of it okay. and it and it spins around and when you spin it it goes click click okay it's a weasel yes i heard that these are like it's um, a thing. Shoe terms. Like, they're, they're things. But, so, so I said, explain to me what this is. She goes, oh, it's a weasel. And when, and you put your, okay, so when you spin your yarn, then you, and you ply it, you put it around on the weasel, and then you start doing this, and you count it every time it pops. And so there's a, there's a thing. So when you go all around, pop, that's one yard, or whatever the measurement was. Yeah, yeah. Or meter, or however they measured it at that time. That's cool. That's what it is. It's That's a measured distance. Yeah, and so then you would take it off. I wish you, you don't have a hang here, but so you take this big round thing, or actually when it's still on there, then you would tie it on with the thread. Yes, yes. And then you take it and you twist it and pop it into a hank. That's really cool. My so cousin cool. told me that they were um, shoe terms or like making things terms. Well, they probably, well... Yeah, yeah, and they probably use them for different things, and there it's a different kind of weasels. You probably get them in different size, that's you know, cool. right? But you can measure like... the distance, and so that's so stinking cool. That to is me. stinking cool. Yeah, because like now we know a swift, a yarn swift is usually like not not round like this, but it's like this, yeah. and they're different. They come in different shapes, and you put your stuff on there, and then you're you're usually using it to either crochet or knit off of which yeah. usually people don't do yeah. but um unless you just have a reserve spot and that's your thing or you take it and then you wind it into a cake yeah you know or a ball or whatever or you put it on a nose to penny and then you have a ball a nose to penny is like a long stick okay if you know what that is i did not anyway it's got a little handle it's a long stick and then you could actually hand wind word mm-hmm you can also do that same thing. They have a cheap one using like a cardboard um, from yeah, paper towel. Yeah, something. Uh huh. Word. Yeah. Cool. And then if like if it's too long, then you could just take scissors and like cut right. it off. Paper. And make your own cone. So that's a really cool thing to do. Or you can pull that that off. Um, you can collapse cool. it and pull that off, and then have the ball and kind of just crunch it down. Anyway, so it's a really cool way to do it. That is cool. Learn yeah. something new. Um, but yeah, so the weasel is a really cool thing that I'm like, I should get one one day. That would be kind of fun to like to have an old school, like spinning wheel in one corner and have a weasel and have like all really these cool. little things and that'd be neat. Yeah. I've had all the room That's in the really world, fun. which I don't. Right. I remember asking all my Facebook friends cause I, I learned it all around the cobbler's bench, but mm -hmm. then one of my kids was watching something that said mulberry bush. Mulberry and I was bush. like, that sounds right too. And, uh, my friends argued. But that's okay. And then my cousin mentioned that they were terms and not actual weasels and monkeys. But a cobbler's bench makes sense if it was, you know, something from the... Yeah, if he's got thread that he's working with or whatever. Yeah. But if it's like a rhyme that someone sings to, you know, <sighs> do the thing just to get like a measured distance or whatever, 
That anyway, makes sense. Yeah, and then Working they could kind of like me, and then they would like change the thing. All around the spinning wheel, da 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 uh, and they clawed and they bit until, um, instead of two cats, there weren't any. Oh. I know. That's in the Richard Scarry's book. Richard Scarry? Yeah, you remember the old, um, you'd recognize it from, from back in the day, 70s. So, um, rhyme. so apparently if it's not a musical or a song, I don't remember. Sorry, that was just a rhyme and I kind of butchered it. That was really bad. Um. um apparently. Um, apparently if it's done to song, I Oh, this remember. one's fun. Um. Peanut sitting on a railroad track, his heart was all a flutter. <gasps> Along came the 615. Toot toot, peanut butter. <laughs> I think I've heard like a portion of that song before. I've been to the worst rhymes. That is the hilarious. <laughs> Okay, the only peanut butter song I can think of right now is when my kids go, peanut, peanut, peanut butter, butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. jelly. And first you take the peanuts and you mash them. You mash yeah, them. You oh mash, them, mash them, mash them, or crush them, or whatever. And then, jelly, peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Then you take the grapes and you squish them or something. Yes. Like gosh, them. I haven't heard that song in forever. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry for the random y'all. Y'all never know. She's not sorry. I'm uh, not sorry. Okay, Debbie says, love Richard Scarry. Yes, it's older yeah. than that because I'm 60 and grew up with his stories. Cool. Yeah. Debbie's awesome. She um she was on a, awesome. a retreat. She, Richard Scarry. Yeah. <laughs> she was a front row cutie on the uh, retreat there and she was hilarious. And she had so much trouble and we gave her so much extra help and I loved her. She was precious. It was like, it was, it was so fun because she was doing crochet and at the time I really wasn't crocheting much. And so I was sort of stand standing back and Mikey was teaching and, um, and we had Beth. And so like they had so much fun that I, they, she was like, a, she was a ball of laughter. It was That's fun. She was, yeah, it was fun. We had fun. Um, she was learning broomstick lace oh, and so that can be kind of awkward and, Right, and he had bought these rulers and gave these rulers, and so he was doing oh. broomstick lace on rulers. But there were these plastic rulers, and I kept thinking they're gonna break. Like, you know, <laughs> how serious is your broomstick lace? You yeah, and rulers. Yeah, well, yeah, he was just using that as the yeah. measured thing, and I thought it was kind of cool because it does have that bend, and so you could get your hook in there really yeah. easy. No, that is cool. Yeah, and actually, if I was to do that again, I probably would use a ruler. I mean, obviously not one that has like a metal edge. He had used like a plastic clear one so right, you right. could see it, which That's is smart. Yeah. And then, um, but now I've seen um, from kids shopping, um, not kids shopping, shopping with my kids for school. <laughs> I go kids shopping every Saturday. <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs> they have my Toys R Us just in a basket like Pet Smart. my pocket. Just check right out the store. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. So random. Okay. So, but anyway, they have these bendy, um, yes, rulers now. One. Yeah. That yeah. took a long time for me to say that you could buy a bendy ruler. It was worth it though. Yeah. It was. I feel better having gone through that journey with you. <laughs> you. You have, wait, what? I feel better having gone through that journey with you. Oh, there's a journey. My brain, I'm reading and I heard tunnel and I'm like, did we go through a tunnel? Because I didn't see that. <laughs> about three miles back Chris says well I was reading Chris's thing and right. then I, like my brain wasn't doing but she says uh, I've always loved the, Yay! the peanut and the railroad rail truck I can't even bleh. no and I got I'm being swelled I'm being swelled by a boa constrictor like I go old school do you old See, but school I, but I do old school but you mine do. are all songs and musicals that longer. you don't know they're it's true. longer I got just a, <laughs> they're longer they are Yours go on for, you know, like two verses, a bridge, and a couple of <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because they're not a nursery rhyme. I'm like... A couple key changes. A couple of key changes. Mine are just unintentional. We did some key changes last time. Oh, gosh. Yeah. oh, there was a song. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know the name of it because it would take me too long to think of it. But it, um, it's like this... It's kind of making fun of formulaic, like, boy band songs. Mm -hmm. But um, there's a part where he's... It's just kind of how formulaic they are, but there's one part where he, he's doing a, a bridge, um, 
And he's just like, apology. Uh, and then he's like, modulation and I hit a high note. <laughs> and like the other guys come in. Yeah, then they, yeah. I know. Drop to my knees in something remorse. It's nuts. Yeah. It's great. I haven't heard it yet, but I need to. <laughs> and now I hit a minor note. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, say what you're doing. It's great. That's hilarious. Sorry. Key change. <laughs> that, that is random sauce. That is random sauce. I have more random sauce that's floating <gasps> into the picture. Oh, I got a glare. Oh, that flower is. loom Yay! crochet. Yay! So y'all have a first sneak peek. It's all flippy. -dip. But anyway, it's flipped for you, but not for me, oh, so okay. I can see it. But this is Flower Loom Crochet, and Annie's has it out, and you can get your copy online. Yay! Yay! So this is the new book that I worked with, Elizabeth Ham. It says Yay! Beth Ham on it, but she also publishes with Elizabeth Ham. And she is on the YouTube channel, Beth in Texas One. She lives in Ennis, Texas, um, a couple hours away from oh, me. Oh, that far. Yeah, well, she was a little closer, and she moved a little further away. She's in Blue Bonnet country, so Fun. there is a time of year, yeah, that you should go and look at the Blue Bonnets and have your kids all out there, and it's a great place Yay. for family pictures. You would There's love a drive-in theater out there. Ooh. It's great. Stranded at the drive-in. Branded a fool. What will they say? Monday at school. Sandy. Grease! Really? Oh, I skipped that song because it was slow. What? Beauty School Dropout was kind of great, but it was Beauty really slow, Beauty School Dropout, go back to high school. school. <laughs> yeah. It's in there. I was in a commercial once with Frankie Avalon on what? a beach in Southern California. No. Uh, yeah. No, totally. That's, weird. That's one of my, like, two truths and a lie. Uh, yeah. No! I was, like, nine or ten. It was on a Navy base, and it was just one of those things. And I knew him from Beauty School Dropout, and I knew that he did, like, the beach party stuff with Annette Punicello. Um, I really was born in the 40s. Beach blanket. Bingo. Right? So good. Beach blanket. Love bingo. That. I know of them. That's the name of the game. You don't know that song. Not you so much. No, no, I know of them. Oh, you know of them. Which means them. I'm great at some trivia. Annette Funicella. Um, Annette. Did I say Funicella? Is it Funicelli? Cello. Cello. Annette Funicello. She was a huge brand ambassador when people started being coming brand ambassador type people for Skippy Peanut Butter. <laughs> and Skippy Peanut Butter like paid her to do commercials and um Pee Wee Herman yeah it just goes full circle did a little ode to her in his um Pee Wee's Big Adventure Pee Wee boy my Texas came out Pee Wee's Big Adventure you say DFW too it's pretty do great do I say W? I bet DFW what? That's a thing. Sorry. Peanut butter. T DFW. Hello. W. Here, DFW. No, it's a W. We don't like, talk about like New Like Sanders. George W. Bush. W. You have to say W. Well, yeah. Anyway. Sorry. I Peanut digress Skippy. and I can't remember. But Peanut yes, but Pee Wee did a thing. And so he like, it may have not have been his big adventure, but it may was another movie. And like he did this whole beach theme and he did an ode to her. And I think she was actually on it. And you see her go into her pantry and she opens up the pantry and it's like all Skippy peanut butter. Yay. Like the whole thing. Like, you know, the wall of cans of Campbell's soup cans that, um, uh, the artist, uh, Andy Warhol does. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's like that. Funny. And you open it like, or like this, like you open it up and it's all Skippy peanut butter. It's hilarious. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Man. she was great in the Skippy commercial. See, Ellie Yay! says, I remember that. You're really pushing peanut butter. I like peanut butter, but you I know what? I'm a Jif person. <laughs> we, we like smooth Jif at our I house. I go generic. I'm not even brand loyal. Okay, so this is my husband's thing. Mm. Um, little reveal. Um, my husband has a big deal thing about his peanut butter and his toilet paper. Those are, yeah, those are important. He has to have Skippy. Uh, Jif, the creamy, okay. okay. At Walmart, you can get these giant cans of it. Can? Yeah, okay. it's in a can, like like really tall and big. And yes, it's in a can. It's weird. Does he like peanut butter that much? Doesn't it expire? Okay. Yes. Oh dear lord, we go through peanut butter. Nice. Right. Well, I guess with the family, and then if he is particular, he, he eats eat more it. than the kids. Just gonna say. If you're gonna pick something, you know he's good. totally picky, and he loves that. I know it's weird. I mean, I make real meals, but then scoops or... Thai food. Peanut butter. Like, yeah. He'll have, like, a long day retail, and he was like, oh, I just need something. Yeah, Scoop. that's a good snack. 
I'm just saying. And, and the toilet paper? Leave the bread. But the toilet paper? Scott thousand sheet rolls. Yes, that's what we have. Yeah, the the thin kind. Yes. I had to get used to it because I didn't grow up with that. No, me neither. And now if I go to a friend's house, I'll clog your toilet. I'm, yes, because you're used to this one so plug where you pull like yards off the wall, and off the thing, and then you're like, I think I did a bad thing. Yeah, and then you're like, oh crap, they don't, oh crap, they don't have the plunger, and then you, and then, and Guys, then you're like, plunger. and then get you're embarrassed because you're like, I didn't poop in your house, but I like. I you know, I clogged it. your toilet because it was asking for it because you guys need one ply. This is totally a crochet thing and we're talking about toilet paper. Are y'all um, appalled at us or are you okay? Are we I could good? go more on are why we good? my husband wants because one ply. it's hilarious. Sorry. So we are totally all over the place, but it's hilarious. Okay, so I'm going to get back to the book. Do it, book. Yes, Chris book. says, yay, excited for your book. Book. Yay. I bought a flower loom years ago from Woolworths after making bazillion flowers, taught myself to crochet and able to connect them. Cool. So this is the, um, I don't know how we got on toilet paper, but now we're on it. Okay. So this is the loom. This is the, um, from Clover makes this Hannah Ami, if I'm saying it right, uh, flower loom. And it has like interchangeable. It's, it's like the boss of flower looms. It looks really cool. It's a weaving loom. It's not a knitting loom. And there are these flower looms that can be used for weaving or knitting um, that are from, like, Boy has one, and then Provocraft had one, Nifty Knitter. Um, yes, And I some other that. people. Yeah, like a 12-peg loom. But this one is, like, interchangeable. And you can do some really awesome things. That's really cool. Yeah. And um, there's... There's so many in there that it comes with like this little shell. I love the design, like the way the so it has this base on it. Okay, and then it also has I'm not sure if they show a picture of it in the package. Um, um because when I did the drawing, I remember I showed the pieces of it. That's really cool. But um yeah, we did a di there's all kinds of diagrams in here. There's all kinds of like visual like aids from you know how to do it. But then there's a thing. So it's showing you how to do them and oh here we go and then here's the parts of the loom so i made sure we had a picture of it and kristen said label that so we labeled all the parts here the only thing that's missing is which is kind of you can't really take a picture of it anyway but there's this dome so it's like a little clamshell thing so if you put everything kind of pay attention before you open it up but if you put everything back in there the clamshell thing shuts and then and then you could just throw that in your bag Dude. Yeah, it's a really good design because there's so many pieces. You'd be kind of irritated if you're like, oh, I got to carry around a bag with a bag of these. Yeah. Right? I really want one of those. You want one? I do. That looks really cool. Yeah. And then there's a centerpiece. I don't know what it does. I didn't use it. I mean, you could, you can use it for other things. You just talk but, about centerpieces. Mm, yeah. But you just pull it out of this middle section okay. here. And then you just... Anyway, so the different looms, uh, the different flowers that I teach... It tells you which loom to put in there. And, like, we even do, like, a square one That's cool. for this really cool geometric cowl that we that I love. We love. I love it. Um, and the way it's seamed together is so cool. It's this one right here. This one. And it's, um, what it is is it's a bunch of square ones. And then you, um, oh, cause it's, like, offset. Like yeah. And so I, I give you the diagram of that. And then. I basically, I get, what I do is I go through telling you how to make the different flowers and then they're integrated into crochet projects. That's really cool. Yeah. And so Beth and I, it was like a good marriage of it. And so I'm going to talk in depth on it and have a demo. That's cool. Like, and show the stuff on Annie's Facebook page Yay! on February 27th at 1130 Central AM. Fun. Yeah. I'm excited. That is really cool. Yeah. If, if Beth can work her schedule out, she's going to come to my house and Yay! we'll do it. Yeah, and then and then if she can't come, I'm like, well, you got to come back on like a Thursday or something because um, Thursdays are my crochet days, but right. Annie's needs me, and then I think that's a Monday, so it's like the last Monday of the month on the 27th. Cool. So this month. So yay! Yay! That's fun. <laughs> so there's that, and then really here cool. is one thing that's in the book. I'm wearing it. Okay. Yay! Yay! That's a good shot. Of it. Is it a good shot? Yeah, that is good. So you get to make this this flower and. Um, this is a, another version of using the same yarn that was used here. So this flower. So there's a different, you can actually try different, um, different yarns really um, cool. on here. And it's cool because like there's different versions of the flowers. And what they wanted me to do is why there's a whole bunch of flowers shown is they wanted to show how like the flower will look and behave differently depending upon the yarn you use. Mm -hmm. And so we were just talking about this. Which one was your favorite? I like the, I like the Raffio one with the woven. Yes. Yes. This one. 
So this is God. this is like a little brooch that we did, That's really pretty. and um and it's yeah so it's got like woven but it looks we like used a sunflower with a little dot. Yeah, and so it, we use the raffia, and there's a ton of raffia left, and I'm like this has got to be like a cool thing. Like this would be kind of cool to do them and like hang them. That's way fun. Can you imagine like hanging a bunch of them from like um like fishing line and like hanging it from your um little chandelier or something or like hanging them like a little string like at, for a party or yes. something? Yes. Yes. You know. Yes. That, or like a baby shower. Like with burlap and things being a thing and lots of browns. Yeah. Like that's, a, that hap that's happening. Yeah. And then so if you, especially if you have like a very stiff um, yarn or thread or what, not thread, but you know, like if you have like a cording or something that's really stiff um, or if you oh, made yeah. like an eye cord or something, you know, I mean, it wouldn't, you wouldn't want it like super thick because these little pegs are short, but you know, yeah, if you have like a stiff, awkward, you know, art yarn. It's perfect for that because sometimes you get this yarn and you're like, what do I do with this? It's really cool, but what do I do with it? Right. And sometimes you can beef it up by crocheting a, um, you know, doing like what I was talking about with your yarn art yeah. in the bathroom. Yeah. You could just make a whole chain of it. And yeah. Stiffen it up and then make these cool flowers. So it's really, really cool. cool. You thread that way. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's, it's exciting. So, oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. How funny. So, so sorry, sorry, I was just reading Chris's comment, which is totally not related to Big what we're secret. saying. Um, <laughs> Lori says, oh my God, your husband and mine, LOL. Yeah, no, my husband too. Peanut yes. butter and toilet paper. Oh, the, yeah. I don't know about the peanut butter thing, but <laughs> mine has big hangups about clogged toilets. That's just not something he's up for. <laughs> oh, Robin says super size Skippy natural from Costco, so you can get a super size apparently. We did Skippy as a kid, and I liked crunchy peanut butter as a kid until I had braces, and then it would get stuck in the sides, and I'm like, I can't spread it like all day long. You can't, yeah, it's hard. Spreading to spread peanut it. butter on a piece of bread is a task. It depends on the bread. Yeah, it depends on toast. the bread. Just go with toast. <laughs> we always used wheat bread. I'm a wheat bread girl. I am now. But yeah, I grew up with wheat bread. They were like, you are not going to be spoiled and have white bread. And I am not cutting the crust off. Oh, no. So we actually liked the heel at our house. I heard crust gives you curls. <laughs> true no, it doesn't. <laughs> but, but yeah, softer, the softer white bread. Yeah, it doesn't work very well. Hey, with, I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's probably why as a kid. I just thought probably, I got better at it. I just switched oh. to <laughs> I'm not good at putting peanut butter at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, you probably did get better at it. I mean, I'm sure not My mom all. was like, it's fine. She just didn't want to do it for me. <laughs> oh, no, we're going there. She's talking about her septic system with the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no. We don't have a septic, but yeah, no. Yes, it says septic system. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's do a survey. Smooth or crunchy? One plier two. <laughs> no? Sorry, that wasn't the survey. One plier two. That could be... You know, that could be yarn related, one ply or two. There you go. Or I don't think my toilet paper five, is worsted. Three or five, even. Three, four, five. I skipped all the way to five. That's four just ply a, yarn? A washcloth. Oh. That's, I went. Leave me here. Leave me here. <laughs> don't, don't follow me. Too many, too many plies. Sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> There's eight ply yarn. Like rope? No, but it's eight ply. But there's like a bunch of thin threads all. You know, plied together. This one is like See, a this knit. stuff is crazy. Yeah, this is like a um, an I cord. It's it's a knit tube. That's why you like it so much because it has a little bit of knitting in it. I'm not. It's true. Lie. I secretly love lie. knitting more. Yeah, it's, it's crochet secret, Thursday. It's a secret love. It's okay. You can you can confess. You can confess to me. It's good knit kisses. I got your back. <laughs> We're all about loving the yarn, no matter what. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I've got to go back and read these comments. They're, I know. I feel bad. I hope great. there wasn't any questions about pooling. No, no, no. No, I, I went back and or made sure. Oh, good. Yeah. Was wondering about your hat. Oh, awesome. Yay. Yeah. Ooh, a tree garland of raffia flowers. Oh, Joanne. Yes. Joanne, did you go away? A Christmas tree. Ooh. Oh, that'd be so pretty. Oh, that'd be so pretty. I almost sang a Christmas tree. Ooh, I know Ooh, Debbie says, okay, our daughter's getting married in November. I'm having, having a rustic country yes, wedding. Yes, that's a thing. We can yes, no, this is perfect. <gasps> That is so good, yeah. yeah you can yeah, yeah. and yeah, okay. Mason jars, put Here. burlap and then put it on the front. Guess what? Chicken. You Sorry. can make them bigger using the techniques in this book. So you could actually make like maybe not make the woven one because the woven one actually takes a little longer, but you could use that same raffia. So make the brooch, definitely make the brooch, and that would act. Ooh, you know what? Those would be good boutonnieres. Ah, 
I love Make it. your own boutonnieres and do the little pin on them. DIY. Like, weddings don't need to be nice. ridiculous. Boom. Oh. Got that done. Yeah. I, got, I covered your wedding budget there, girl. That's really funny. Absolutely. I'm excited about the centerpiece. You I don't could know. put stems on it make them her bouquet. Uh, yes. Let's just go crazy town. I... That is a thing. You could, you could, oh, you could, you could do a leaf and then wrap it and weave it and then add it to the thing. I'm going crazy crafty right now. You are. So I want to show y'all one thing I was really excited about. See this, see this right here? You see this? This is a shawl. And what it does is you use two different flowers in it. It's a petal shawl. Isn't that lovely? What do y'all think of this? That's really pretty. So like you could do um you could do a cool uh art thing with using it in raffia too. Oh, that's true. Yeah, and join the flowers. And so Beth um Beth describes how to join the flowers. So like on here when you look at the book it shows the materials what I used and then it has the pattern notes of like which flower to you use. You wrote that. You guys, the two like Yeah, it was a total marriage of of ideas and that's awesome. and, and so look, there here's the diagram. So that's how it that's how it awesome. looks. So it's like it's got these big gap things in its side, and so it gives it that really cool like different look. Cause it so it's different. I wanted a shawl that's not just a triangle shawl, but like it has like a cool, yeah. funky look. Because depending on how you wear this, mm -hmm. like if you kind of group it towards your neck, and then it kind of lays over, and it's like it's really cool. It's it's arty. That's fun. I'm just saying, it's 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 cool. No, you guys did fantastic. Yeah, and I was not. I mean, I'll just confess, I was not always a woven flower. Per, loom for person like yeah. um like the real simple kind but like using the different um yarns and then incorporating it into crochet that's a winner because I know, it pulls I like that them square out square situation yeah the square thing is really cool because it's like a square with a circle inside and then another little dot and like in the way it's offset like here's the diagram so you can see she gets a sneak peek it so looks see really how good. that is and then you join oh. yes i do it's really cool that is really cool i like the idea of the square thing yeah that's isn't that, that nice? Okay, so what this is, the scar there's a stunning, stunning scarf. It is stunning. And it's based on, though, if you if you make the scarf, you then know how to make the shawl. Yeah, because they're joined similarly. Uh-huh. Show them the picture. I feel bad. It's hard to see in the thing. Sorry, we got a lot of... But anyway, yeah. So pretty. you'll have to check it out. Check out the... Um, the thing on, um, yeah, it looks really cool wrapped up like that. I don't want to show you too much, but um, because Get you want to join uh, and, uh, the... February 27th, 11.30 a.m. on the Annie's site. That's really cool. Uh, the Annie's Facebook page. So if you'll go over to Annie's Facebook page, and you might want to check out Clover. There's going to be giveaways. We're going to be giving away a book. Yay. Or more. And um, we might have other things rolled into these little packages of giveaway kit Fun. thing. And so it may be that we run the giveaway actually on my blog and let you know about that when that happens. So be sure and subscribe. And I would subscribe to Clover because the, the um, it's brought to you by Clover. I know. So Are you guys going to give away looms? looms? Is that asking too much? I would like to do that. Cool. That right. is I bet my, you would. my desire is I giving like away the book. And, yeah, the digital book and then the, the loom. And I think maybe something else, maybe. But the book is available in hard copy. And the book digital? is available in hard copy and digital. Yeah, okay. you can buy them. It's eight ninety nine. Okay. And you go to Annie's site. Um, we should have the link. I may, I may have had the link. Um, I like earlier. Hard copy. I have an affiliate link to it. It is my first royalty book. So, and it's for my first crochet book. So I have a loom knitting book. And yeah, I, have some I remember really, that. That's nuts. I have some really cool news. Yay! I like news. I didn't know how to tell my book ranking until the other day to see how I ranked. And in the um, hobby and crafting category, um, under the category reference, I'm at 100. Cool! And the book's like a year old now. That's really cool. Yeah, and then in the knitting category, it falls at 107. Dude. I'm like, what? And then, like in all of the books, it's like at 66,000. Like all books. All. Oh, books. which is nuts because there's a like lot millions. of books in the world. Yeah. That's really cool. I'm like, what? What? And she's in my house. I can't believe it. No, that's really cool. I can't believe that you write books. Like, that's cool. I published it. That's nuts. Myself. That, it was hard work. I believe that. Right. It <sighs> was hard. And I had somebody help me do the original digital book. And then I realized the formatting was not correct mm -hmm. when I went to make the hard book because everybody was like, please, can you make a hard book? Because I really, really, really want this like in front of my face like this and I don't want to have to print it off. Right. 
So we, when I made it into a hard book, you know, anyway, I realized how hard that work was. Yeah. Because I was trying to be a publishing house and well, let's just face it. Publishing houses have several employees and I'm just one person. I'm a crocheter. So, but I did get feedback from my friends at different yarn companies and I got feedback from, um, Carol, um, Blakely. Um, she, she helps assist on good kisses and I got yeah. feedback from other people anyway. So that's really, here's cool. this. And in the car, I actually have all the other projects if you're, if you're curious and you want to see them after. Yay. So, um, anyway, what yes. else do I want to say? You got oh, your I yarn. Know. I do. Yay. All that stuff. Thanks you guys for joining me. I think, um, I think that's it. I'll make sure I didn't have any other questions. Did I notice? Oh, <laughs> now I want peanut butter for lunch. <laughs> that's what Joanne says. It's a good snack. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I. Premier Crunchy, white or wheat, one player two. <laughs> oh, Robin says, I just saw your book uh, will be available on Amazon April 1st. You can pre order it and you put it on your wish list. Oh, that's awesome. That's you can nice. also buy it on Annie's right now. Like, so sure. you can, it's available right now. So um, I don't even know if it's available as pre order. I think you can actually just get it. Right. It's just that Amazon may not have it just yet. Yeah. So there's, cool. there's two different options. You can do a digital download or you can do the, the print version. Um, I like to have both myself because I always carry stuff around on my phone, but then I like having the hard copy book too in my reference. Yes. So anyway, yes. that's, that's fun. Not that you have to do that. That's just what I like oh, to do. Okay. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, will the shawl pattern be available on the website? No, it's going to be only in the book. So you got to get the book. It's not that, I mean, it's under $10, 10 us dollars. So that's, to me, that's the pretty book good. It's amazing. I'm just saying it's no, I didn't really. Yes. I flower loom. I have like a little spool thing that doesn't. Yeah. That thing looks really cool. Yeah. If you get the digital book, I will say this on the flowers on the petal shawl. Um, if you print out the page for your personal use, if you print out the page, then um, you could use that to help um, map out how you're going to put your flowers yes. on. Yes. Yeah. You know, um, and then you could even point out, okay, this is going to be this color. This is going to be this color. And if you try to do like a different color scheme, then you can really help yourself. But, um, what I do is, is the yarn that's in there actually has like a little bit of a thick thin to it. Okay. Um, it has a little bit of a slipness to it. So I would use a little bit of fabric glue just on the back after you're done, let it dry before you start crocheting them together. Mm -hmm. And so I made all my flowers first, put them in a bag and just kind of like, I would make them in front of the TV. I mean, it was nice because yeah. you just wind it up, tie it, da 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 throw it in the bag. Nice. Anyway, and so once I got all the quantities, and I had two different bags for the two different sizes, then I went and took it on my crafting table and then we laid it out how we wanted it. And so like if some were a little bit like fuller than others, then I would move them around. So it has a cool texture to it in person. Yeah. Like you're like, oh wow, these are like, they don't all look the same. That's cool. So it was really cool. I like the ribbon too. You like the ribbon? Oh yeah, we did a ribbon thing and there's a, there's a purse. There's a, um, I'm about to, I was about to say goodbye, but I love telling, right. talking about it. So, um, the purse is, I'm not sure which page it's on. I haven't memorized. Have not, I have not memorized it, but Beth designed this little purse, this clutch. Oh gee. Is it the last page? No, that's not it. Where is it girl? There's a headband. There's Here a purse. Is. Cute clutch. So this is a cute clutch. And you could put the flowers anywhere on it. They they wanted them here like this. I, I came up with like several different ways to do it. You can kind of cluster the flowers together. Yeah. You know, just do one, you know, anyway. Like but that. it's like a, it's an envelope kind of purse. And then she gives the layout on the body and then the, on um, the gusset. Gusset. And, um, and she shows, yeah, how to do it. So anyway, it's pretty cool. Yeah. And, um, and she even illustrates like which part of the chain to go into. You know, cause. That's nice. Yeah. Yes. Because because sometimes you don't know when you're like, it, it really makes a difference on your crochet project. Well, it looks different and everyone's like, is it? The, yes. Right. Awesome. Yeah. And you're like, explain, you know, if you do it that way, then you, you know what, because if you didn't do it that way, you go back and go, why does it look different than her project? Right. So No, anyway. it's very nice. Anyway. So, oh, Ellie says, I, I'd be like, Annie's digital, no shipping and always print them out. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And you can print them off and put them in sleeves and stuff too. So. Yes. Um, anyway. Um, oh, what's the status of the big news you've been teasing with us? Oh my gosh. The status of the big news. I am had a hiccup yesterday because of some scheduling because of the TV show I'm recording. So there is a conflict of schedules and I'm waiting to find out from my confirmed dates from Annie's. And if it doesn't work out, I may not be doing the big news thing. Kind of sad. That is sad. <sighs> but 
I'm just, you know what, I got off the phone and I kind of feel, I was feeling a little bit down. I was encouraged because we had figured out that I was at number one, 100 and she was excited. But, um, because they were asking what, what my numbers were, like what my ranking was. And that's yeah. why I was like, well, how do I know? And so she was telling me. And because of the conflict of schedule, there's only one week that it can be recorded. And so I just, I just stopped and I like had myself like a sort of a poor me cry for like two seconds. And then I said, you know what? No. And so I prayed and I was like, Lord, you know, just let this be like, if, if I'm supposed to do this, then let the schedules work out. If I'm not supposed to at this time, then let's, let's just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like. Anyway, so make a stop or make it go, and whichever way I will, I will follow. Because I don't want to do things my way. Right. I don't. I, I just, I want it to be what it's supposed to be. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's hard. It's hard work, and it won't Dude, work. Dude, it, it, yes. I'm just like, anyway. Yeah. So I'm going with the flow, and and we'll, we'll see. Yeah. I'm going to do my best. Indeed. Or whatever it is. But the thing was really exciting. I really can't say what it is. And I really want to. I'm glad I didn't say what it was, too. But anyway. Maybe the big news is just getting a puppy. But what it did is, is it opened up another relationship. And I will say this, if anybody's And now you know you're ranking. And curious. Yeah, and now I know I'm ranking. These opportunities are coming to me, and I am not going for them. Like, I have a, I don't go out and, like, give press releases. I don't even know how to do that. Um, and I don't go and, like market myself like I don't go calling companies and be like can I work with you and some people do that and some people need to do that or some people want to do that I don't I don't like that if I have a relationship and someone has said hey call this person then I will call them or email but that don't typically do that and the companies that have come to me are ones that I had zero relationship with and that really it does two things it lets me know that they appreciate what I've done and it lets me know, um, you know, uh, that I didn't do this on my own. That's cool. You're so, a catch, Kristen. I'm a catch. Catch me and fall and boop a doop boop 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 boop. You know that, right? I bet. Catch me now I'm falling. Whoa 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 whoa. Catch me I'm falling. So you know that song? I bet. Totally. Totally. Here we are. All right. Love you guys. Yay. Thank you for joining us today. Summer, thanks for coming on. No, thanks for having me. This was fun. She's awesome. Isn't she awesome? You are. Y'all go. Y'all go are. join her group. Yeah. Like it's her a great page. resource. Tell I her she's I don't awesome. know anything, but they are great. And say hey to Brenda. She's a rock star. Tell Brenda hey. There are lots of rock stars too, but Brenda Lee is my girl. Yeah. All her. right. And behave. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a great day hey, and happy knitting. Fun. And crochet. Bye. <laughs>